Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with me, Oxfu. And last time we defeated this guy, the Bird Colossus. That is it. Take the right save, save file. But if I did it, you'll never know because you won't see this video. <laughs> um. Yeah, which means next Colossus is also a non-walking colossus. The next colossus, as this guy will tell us, thy next foe is... John, who's underneath the tunnel. Oh, this is a different guy than who I thought it was. This isn't the guy I thought it was. This is a walking colossus. Um, and I'm glad it's the guy that it is, because the first time I played the walkthrough for this, he said, oh, underneath the temple he lurks. And I went looking around, because like, oh, okay, I know I know which guy that is. Um, it's, it's, that, it's that other colossus, which I'm not going to spoil which one it is for you. Um, but I went around this temple because I'm like, oh, it's right, it's right underneath the starting temple. But it's not. It's not. It's a, it's a different Colossus that I completely forgot about. And I'm like, I, I looked around and I'm like, oh, okay. Go towards the forest. The one that my friend, my friend that loaned me this game so I could do this let's play. The one that he absolutely hates because he keeps getting lost. And I'm like, I don't, I don't understand why you get lost, man. There's just one, there's one way you gotta go through this forest, you can't do it any other way. <laughs> and you will see, in just a few moments, how I get through this forest. It is the most bullshit of ways, but oh well. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was... Then I'm like, oh shoot, we're going towards the desert. That means it's a different Colossus. Oh my god, I hate this guy because I'm going to be spending 30 minutes just getting the first hit on him. But it didn't turn out to be that guy, luckily. And I continue to have this cheery disposition that you hear me in right now. I really am cheery. I'm not making that up. I have had the most wonderful night last night. I got to go to Boston. And, by the way, this is how you get out of the forest. I know, right? Chili con carne. As Paige would tell us, um, it's 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 so revolutionary jumping off a cliff. <laughs> but no, I got to go up to Boston and listen to the senior recital, a a night of Celtic chamber music. With well, I'm not gonna tell you her name because it's YouTube. You don't do that. But it was absolutely fantastic, and. It just was absolutely fantastic. I I should have been calling Agra, but should have been calling Epona. I should have been playing Epona songs. Song, you know. I don't remember the tune. <laughs> been so long since I played those games. No, I'm not calling. Hey, we can't jump through his head. Um. Oh, I was kind of wishing it was the other Colossus, though. Because I had, I had a joke lined up and everything, and I haven't even thought about this guy. I don't know. Just, I love this desert. The same friend who loaned this to me has this on, this game on an emulator. And just going into the desert here, as you can see, there's there's the particle effects of the sand swirling around, and the light blooming, and all that. Oh, that was pretty neat, actually. <laughs> um, but... He plays it on an emulator, and the emulator is screwed up, so instead of doing the bloom effect right, it'll layer itself, so eventually it'll look like he's just going through a white fog. <laughs> I don't know. I just find it funny. But yeah. Oh, now that I don't have that joke lined up, I gotta think of another one. One second, guys. One second. Okay, I think I got one. Nah, it doesn't really work, but whatever. There we go. As we crash opponent into the side of the wall. Erg. I'm I'm really glad they didn't make falling damage ridiculous in this, otherwise every time you'd get cast off by a Colossus you'd be down to nothing. 
and you have to go hide while your health comes back. That also, that you that they let you bring back your health is also useful. Why am I going back? I can just climb on this. Pretend it's a mini colossi. No. Ready? There we go. There we go. Gonna do some dodging. Gonna gonna fight those doms. <laughs> um can't really say anything until we get down there. Took me the longest time to figure out you could climb down these too. Oh, I can't wait until we get to the blind part of this. It's just gonna be fun. Right? Falling. Falling. I could actually probably just jump off and not worry about it. You know what? Screw it. Oh my goodness, I did it. Last rung too. <laughs> Alright, and this is the fifth Colossus. This giant wall. He goes into the ground. <laughs> no, not really. Um, fifth Colossus is actually behind this guy. In case you were wondering. This Colossus goes on its merry way. And. So I got guys, and I probably should have actually paused because right now we gotta deal with this. Um, sorry, no, I was just talking talking to my stepdad. He's been talking to my uncle about um, getting a new car for me because my last one kicked the bucket. It's dead, and I need to buy a new car. So I'm probably gonna be buying it for my uncle now. Um, and it's a pretty cool car. I still have no idea. I just, or not a beetle, a Volkswagen. I still can't remember what kind of it is. But I have to find out. And I get to learn standard. Yay! So basically, what you got to do is lead this guy through here. He'll break down the walls and stuff on the way to find you. I don't think that's important. But he actually picks something else. Will you get up there? Thank you. Jeez. Jeez. Guys. What are you doing, guys? You're shooting at the wrong targets! <laughs> Alright. Now, we just go over here. And this guy's supposed to be a troll of some sort, I'm guessing? Or he's supposed to be a dwarf? I don't know. He looks like halfway between a troll and a dwarf to me. It's Hermione Granger, the Night Troll. Get back here. Get to the same thief. I did not see the thief. Ten points from Gryffindor. He's like a dwarf with the body troll. This one second. Look at his face. Oh, I guess that is more troll-like. I just looked at his beard and saw him. Like, yeah, this guy's pretty cool. So yeah, basically hide in there until he was like, where, where did we go? And puts down his head, and you just go up and grab onto his beard. You go up here. Cut this guy a bald spot as well. Alright, so we dropped a few frames there, so I just hung around. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's a pun. Until it stopped. So I'm just gonna show you how to get up on this guy again. Well, if I can get down. <laughs> it's funny, because usually the hardest part is getting up on this guy. Um, but basically, what you're gonna wanna do is go and hide in here. Get out of your phone in case you need to distract him, in case you need to get him over here by causing him some physical pain. And they'll come investigate and be like, oh, oh where's this guy go? And he'll poke his head down eventually. If if he can be bothered to do that, because I know he's a busy guy and all, but you know what? Screw it. Screw screw your schedule. I have all that time limit. Oh. Insert mandatory comment about having to re-record this, I suppose. And here we go. Uh, no, it was fun also because I got to hang out with a few friends that I haven't... Well, a few friends. I got to hang out with a friend that I haven't really been spending time with. And I should have been. Oh, she's a good friend. She, just, she deserves better from this friendship. Oh, and 
here he comes already. Jeez. Should have been getting ready. Getting ready to climb this guy. Sorry, I'm focusing now. <laughs> my, my commentary's gonna be so crap while I'm climbing this guy because he actually likes to fuck a lot more than most of the other ones. I don't know, it's, it's funny how the earlier ones buck more than a lot of the later ones. Well, I mean, depending on which ones they are. I almost fell off there, but I don't care. It's okay, Gash. Yeah. Um... Songs go down and everything, too. Because I can't really think of songs on the spot, at least not as well as I used to be. Just hang out on his back for a little bit. Songs for trolls. I can think of references that I've made to orcs and trolls and stuff. I keep finding funny that 98.9 WRC FM is. Well, to people who are CFM. I think they should really like capitalize on that. Like, WRC FM, the only network, or the only radio for orcs. I'm playing your favorite. It's from yesterday, 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. Or something like that, I don't know. It's like the village of Snape. Oh, um, my girlfriend thinks they should capitalize on that. Like, oh, hey, let's put a giant statue of Alan Rickman in front. We were joking about that yesterday, like how Salem has the Bewitch statue. Um, just take that statue and replace the head with Alan Rickman's head and use that. You know, like, <laughs> okay, now I'm just getting a bit ridiculous. And we get to put this guy on dialysis. <laughs> no, we're horrible people, aren't we? Well, I'm a horrible person. You guys are just watching. You guys are just watching. That makes you party to the crime. Party to the song. And the malpractice. So you're horrible people, too. <laughs> Go. Actually, I'm... Well, I gotta cut out something because it drops my ears. <laughs> That's the most realistic fall of any of them, actually, so far. At least I think. And we're not gonna get anywhere. We're we're in a freaking temple underground. We're not gonna get anywhere. See? Well, that was episode 5, guys. Hope you liked it. And thank you very much for watching.